Hi, it's Amy from Amory Designs, and today I'm here to share with you the tutorial for how to sew this wide stripe modern rainbow mug rug. <laughs> this is a super fun quick project to put together and it uses all traditional piecing. It'll come together super fast and make a bright spot, whether it's at your desk, in your kitchen, or wherever it is that you need just a little bit of extra color. You can find the written directions on my blog at the link in the description below, but I'm gonna walk you all through all of the steps right here in this video, so let's get sewing. You're going to need two pieces of background fabric. One will measure two and a half by four and a half inches, and the other one will measure seven and a half by four and a half inches. You're gonna need six stripes, and they need to be one and a half inches wide by nine inches long. Then you'll also need a batting piece, a background piece, and your binding. The background and the batting will be cut to six and a half by nine and a half inches, and then your batting will be, or your binding, excuse me, will be two and a quarter inches by width of fabric. I like to go with um, six and a half by nine and a half. Our finished mug rug will measure six by nine, but that gives us a little bit of room to square it up after we've done all of our quilting. So once you have all of your supplies cut, we're ready to get started. We're going to begin building our rainbow from left to right, starting with red. We're going to take the smaller of our two background pieces. You'll place your red fabric right side up if there's a right or wrong side. I'm using um, confetti cottons from Riley Blake Design for mine, and because they're solids, there's not really a right or wrong side. But if you did have a wrong side or a right side, you want your first strip right side up, and then you're gonna take your small background piece right side down, and place the long side matching up with the long side of your strip, and you want it to be three quarters of an inch down from the top of your red strip. Then you're going to take it to your sewing machine and you're gonna sew along this side seam using a quarter inch seam allowance. And then you'll wanna press that seam allowance toward the red, especially if you're using a light background like I am, so that you don't see any of the dark fabric shadowing behind. Now we're gonna add our orange stripe. So I will place that stripe right side up again, and then I'm going to bring my red stripe and place it face down, right side down on the orange stripe. And again, I'm going to line that up so it is three quarters of an inch down from the top. Now I'm staggering my strip so that it creates, when I go to turn my project, I have the depth to create some angled stripes on my finished project without having to sew anything on the bias or worry about those, this three quarters of an inch will give us plenty of movement on our strips to allow us to cut out our final piece without having to worry about sewing on actual angles. Now we'll continue to add the rest of our strips doing the same thing placing the next one to be sewn on right side up, measuring three quarters of an inch down, placing our sewn piece right side down on top of it, and then sewing using that quarter inch seam allowance. It doesn't matter which direction you press your seam allowances, if they're all going the same way or not. I just try to press away from the lightest color. So in this case, once I've sewn this seam, I'm going to press towards the orange instead of the yellow, just to prevent any kind of shadowing underneath that fabric. So we'll keep going until all our strips are sewn on and then we'll add our final piece of fabric. Okay, now we have all of our strips sewn together. They are making this nice, beautiful step up pattern. And now we're gonna add our final piece, but instead of continuing to step it up, on this one, we're going to step it down because this is going to create the bottom corner once we turn these to make our little rectangle mug rug. So I'm going to measure again three quarters of an inch, but this time I'm going to leave my sewn piece right side up. I'm going to measure three quarters of an inch down, and then I'm going to place my big, larger background piece of fabric right side down on top. Again, three quarters of an inch down from the purple. And then I am going to sew along this, again with my quarter inch seam allowance, and press it open 
Again, the seam allowance towards the dark fabric. Now we have our very weird looking piece of fabric and we are going to turn this into a mug rug top. To begin, I find it easiest to start at the top where I have all of my step ups. So I'm going to begin by just lining up my ruler with all of my incremental increases right there. And I'm going to just cut across all of these top steps. The next thing I'm gonna do is turn it around and I'm gonna line up this straight edge and then I'm going to cut six and a half inches away from here. So I am, again, I'm adding a little bit of extra um, to the sides here so that as I quilt it, then I can square it back up before I add my binding. So if you get to where, and it looks like you have a little bit of a gap somewhere at the corners, unless it's more than a half an inch, don't worry too much about it because all of that is gonna get cut off on our final, final trim. So again, I'm going six and a half inches from my new straight edge and then I'll trim up this side. And now I'm going to turn it this way and I'm gonna use this edge of this seam here. I'll use my bottom here to create, to line up my ruler for a straight edge. And then I'll trim it there. And then my final trim will be to make this nine and a half inches this way. And again, you can see I have just a little tiny dip right here, but that's gonna go away in my final, um, my final trim before I add the binding, so I'm not too worried about that. So now I have my finished wide strip modern rainbow mug rug top finished. The next thing to do is to add your backing and your batting fabric. So I'll place my backing right side down, add my batting, add my top. I'm gonna quilt this all up and then add my binding. I like to use spray basting, especially on small projects like this, but you are more than welcome to go ahead and baste it however is your preferred method.